Start it up again. Alright, hello everyone. What are we doing? There's somebody here. Oh, a spirit of Johannes. Like so many other spirits, this one is hardly silent. She clicks and squawks the moment you approach her, like a cornered crow facing down a hungry owl. Are you the new sad then? A pity. Seems the standard is plummeting quickly. You've brought my tea, have you? Insist she's as mad as a rabbit were at where right. You're no servant and she's a ghost. Ignore her ranting and ask her about the strange shard you found. What is it for? Play along with her and hold out an imaginary cup of tea. S suck out her source. She is for this mad woman. It will be a blessing. The spirit puffs out her chest in irritation. You speak only when spoken to. Now, oh, where's my tea? And it better not be that earthly stuff from Blizzard Land. Even the cats won't drink that swamp water. Play along with her and hold out an imaginary cup. takes the invisible cup from you and takes a sip of non-existent liquid. I've tasted better brews, but from the look of you, the refreshments won't be improving. She waits a moment. Are you expecting a tip? Well, here's one. So, use it. Take a deep breath. Smile your biggest smile, then ask her what sh the shard you found is for. That's old thing. No, I saw your shirt was adorable. Father, Just not notice this? It is super sex. Really father, is. Father's, father's, father, <laughs> Don't rightfully know what it's supposed to do. Johannius, the umpteen brought it back from Blood Moon Island. I thought it might be good for stirring stew, but the cook gave it back. Said it made her feel funny. Whatever that. That's how I feel in the morning, too. Stands there smiling, utterly oblivious to her own outburst. Leaving you to ponder the strange words she shouted. Mountainem runect udin. Tell you'll bring a better cup of tea if she explains what just happened. What just happened? You mean my display of proper posture and etiquette? The benefits of charm school, I don't expect you to qualify. What is this? Highly unusual, I must say. Oh man, I need that source. Nope. Oh. She's rude. She dies. Nobody thinks they're better than Mira and gets away with it. Except Shadow. He can thank it, but that doesn't make it true. Well, you know. Speaking of which, PMN had me watch that show that you and her watched, silly. At your place. That anime about the gambling. What are you doing? Human graves. May the dead stay forever at rest. Alright, silly. If you guys yeah. want, we can teleport and get more, uh, more source. No, 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 we don't need to do that. Don't right. have to. Gravekeeper Firm, though. Let's talk to her. She hums quietly. The notes move in rhythm with her wandering eyes. We need to go, uh. Inform her that Rikers can't, can't hurt her. Or anyone else. Not anymore. The servants are free. The lizard pauses, and a smile crosses her face. Me belongs to me. Servants belong to the hall. That's the way I like it. Her hum returns, soft at first, then blossoming into a full-fledged hymn. Ten spans under, human slept. Ten spans up, the dwarves were kept. Wait, Mira. Oh, well. Who's that? Oh, she's giving us stuff. Who's giving you things? This lady, she's giving me a reward. Alright, so I can choose a reward. I can get a medium thunder rune. Which is plus 11 uh, damage is air damage, air resistance plus 9%, or dodging plus 4%, depending on what you put it in. Um, she's giving us a magical mail hood, which is 37 physical armor, 24 magic armor, plus 1 huntsman, plus 1 scoundrel. Mage boots, 14 physical armor, 64 magical armor, uh, 2 initiative, and 0.5 movement. And magical steel gloves, which are... Uh, 64 physical armor, 14% magic armor, 2, a 2 initiative, and 42 HP. Man. So, do any of you want any of those things? Because if not, I'm taking the gloves. Oh, no, I'm okay. Yeah. Iso? No, I'm good. Alright, I'm taking the gloves. Oh, she also gave me a rock. That's lovely. 
Also open this thing. That's right here. Hang on, I'll do it inside. Also, ignore Silly and come here and talk to Tarquin. Okay, well, I'll go. He's right next to me. No! It's okay. Just ignore him. Why Tarquin are you running away thing. from me? Wait. Tarquin's way more. In I don't see you, Silly. Oh, there you are. Can we open that? Oh, okay. That's the door. <laughs> fortify a scroll and a silver glass. You can have Perfect. the fortify a scroll. Let's go. There you go. Wow, Miro. Hurry up. We're all bound by Tarkman already. Well, how'd you get there so quick? You teleport over there? Yeah. I'm going to walk there. <laughs> there's a chicken coop I could. that had an egg in it. True. I see, it was worth it. Oh, and there's a coffin here I can open? Like, you guys are missing out on some prime loot here. It might have a tooth in it that I can give to Shadow. It's how, it's oh, how, yeah. It's how I give him gifts. It didn't, though. I don't know if you know this, but we, I like to give. Uh, I like to give uh, Shadow paintings. I love it. There's Tarquin. Oh, I have to throw that thing feet under the stairs. Say you need a reminder. What were you looking for again? Show him the object you found. Is this what he wanted? Ask if you ever heard of the Eight Heron. Shake your head. Nothing yet, you're afraid. Poor thing. Feeling your advancing age, are you? That never matter. I don't mind repeating myself if I must. I'll even use language any simpleton can understand. Find the tomb where Joanna Surrey is buried. Retrieve the mysterious heirloom that was buried with her. Bring it to me. Tarquin sighs. I hate to sound so condescending, but sometimes it pays to be straightforward. I'm sure you agree. He places his hand on the artifact, and it drones in its strange language. Adan, Shwalon Dumora, Vavor, Vivilis. Awanu Ari, Demtu Shan. The object continues. Sade menia veit fern, dom drisval veit evdikais. It's true then. Anathema. Within reach. Tell me, is this all there was? There weren't any other curios in there? Uh, tell him you're tired of these scenarios. This thing talked to you. And he needs level with you now. Ah, I just remembered why I prefer to work alone. Very well. This is the hand grip of the fabled anathema. Oh, I want it. A sword capable of annihilating anyone, even a divine. Imagine it. Holding in your hand a force that could wipe away sun and shadow. A sword of life and death, miracle and sin. A sword of atonement. Shit, <laughs> Fusroda! I can restore anathema to working condition, but this is only half of it. We still need the blade. How fortunate that the hilt has already told us where to find it. Blood Moon Island. Tell Tarquin about your experience in the Surrey tomb. Insists he's out of his mind, but by its very name, this weapon could mean big trouble. He was looking for this anathema the whole time. Tell him to forget it. He should be have been honest from the start. Tell him you'll look for the main even for peace. Tell him he needs to grease your palm if he wants more out of you. Ugh. Gross. Shadow, which one? Uh, um, go for four. Well, you may not always have the smarts, but you've sure got the spirit. Blood Moon Island awaits, my friend. It's a bit of a jaunt, but this gives me time to prepare my workspace. We'll catch up in the Lady Vengeance, yes? No. Tarquin doesn't wait for an answer. His attentions are already turned elsewhere. Can we kill him? Um, you could. He's rude. He needs to die. Okay, let's go back and get source. All right. To source it is. You're back and you're all clean now, Trini. Oh well, yeah, I need source as well, actually. Shadow, how would you like to be dropped in a vat of vinegar? Oh boy. Um. 
I mean, I wouldn't mind it, as long as I don't have any, like, cuts or anything on me, I don't think I'd mind. What if we subject you to a thousand paper cuts beforehand and then drop you in a vat of vinegar? I can't say I'd like- I can't say I'd like that. Do you think you would die from this extreme shock of your whole body? Uh... His whole body what? Being, Maybe. Be, being, uh, cauterized by the vinegar. Maybe. Hey, look, Shadow. I, uh, I, I left the soy side for you. Thank you. Enjoy. Um, where we meet, where we going to now? Um, I need a source point for... Um, that's a good question. I think we should go... I still would. But let me grab the source and I'll show you. It's neat here, though. I don't know where here is. I just pinged it. Okay. Oh, you guys are downstairs? Never mind. Yeah, what waypoint am I going to? No waypoint. We're gonna just leave from town. Oh, okay. Iso is so destructive, he goes in there and just starts wrecking barrels and crates. I am. Just Weren't one of you buttholes supposed to leave the, the thing here so we could easily teleport to it, but no. What, why would any of us do that? It's, good. It, it's true, you guys are very, very selfish beings. You feel refreshed and hungry? I had an Uncle Burger from A&W earlier. It was, it was delicious. Called an Uncle Burger? Yeah, you never had... Okay, so have you ever been to A&W? Um, we had one nearest when I lived in Oregon, but I don't think there's one in Montana at all. So yeah, it's been it's been God like twenty years though. Okay, so they have what's called the Burger Family, and they have the Papa Burger, the Mama Burger, the Teen Burger, and lately, within the last few years, they came up with the Uncle Burger, and it's just amazing. So weird. Yeah, they also have the Grandpa Burger, and I don't think they have a Grandma Burger, and they have a Buddy Burger. Which, I think that's the one you're expected to have sex with, because friends are friends, pals are pals, and buddies sleep together. Okay, so... That's, uh... I wouldn't mind sleeping with a bird. You wouldn't mind sleeping with a bird or a burger? Both. Oh, fair enough. My friend posted on uh, Facebook uh, this picture of, uh, like a, uh... Um... Oh, oh yeah. Come here. Rest with me in the sun. Dear child, you sacrifice too much. You need peace, rest. Come here and stay with me a while. A great pounding suddenly erupts in your chest. Your inner god roars and bellows, an incoherent, maddening cacophony. It is awful how he treats you. He asks so much and gives so little in return. Ask who you're speaking to. I am the only one who cares. He will say otherwise. He always does. And in the end, he'll betray you. Don't play his game. Think of yourself. Rest here. The sun is golden. No one will bother you. This moment can last forever, if you let it. A sudden weariness washes over bone deep and as irresistible as a strong current get your teeth bunch your fists fight back resist the urge to just lie down and give up bite down on the side of your tongue hard jolt yourself awake remember close your eyes suck in a deep mouthful of air let it fill you up exhale it and open your eyes this thing has no power over you Persuasion where's the i want to take a nap option yeah then surges back Shh, don't fight it this is how it's supposed to be Sleep now. When you wake, it will be in a new world. A beautiful world. I'm really curious what happens if you just succumb. I only wanted to give you rest, not pain. Now, I leave you to my children. They are many. They are impatient. They lack my gentle touch. Huh. I am sorry. Truly. I see. Undead scarecrow. This living scarecrow? What? You're evading? That's just fucking rude. What? 
What the fuck? Did he just go nya 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 nya? <laughs> it's probably one of the bizarre things I've seen in this game so far. Alright. Uh, what do I want to do? I don't know yet. Uh, anyway, so, you had burgers for breakfast today? All hail the burgers? Exactly. Exactly. So, I had this, um, friend, she uh, had soil on, um, like a cookie pan. And she put it in the uh, oven and then took pictures of it, uh, of it. And she, for some reason, she had all these people bombarding her with how she's a disgusting mother for feeding soil and dirt to her kids. And I'm like, what? God. How does any of this imply that she's feeding that to her kids? Okay, silly. Are you actually... Is your character terrified right now? Mm-hmm. Like, can you move? No. But you're not in combat. Correct. So I'll be mm -hmm. terrified for the whole combat. In any fucking sense. No, I'm gonna fix it. Let's get into combat right away. Wait, it still doesn't work? Um, enraged? Cured by clear-minded and enraged. <laughs> That costs 2 AP. If I haste myself, can I get there? Hmm. Man, today is not so <laughs> Silly's friend when it comes to combat. I'll try and fix you later. Actually, I'm just gonna save my stuff. Alright, Shadow. Make your incarnate deal with the undead Scarecrow. Trying to, you think I need to move a little bit? Mm -hmm. There we go. And then prepare to die as they all start attacking you. Yep, can't wait. <laughs> How much armor does your uh, magic armor does your incarnate have? Oh, significantly less than this physical armor. Oh, that's right, he's got okay. the dodge on. Yeah! Yeah, that's how I pretty much saw a gun. On there. Oh, I'm in a fight. See me now. Oh dear. What? Okay. Um. I'm still terrified though, forever. Yeah. Oh, I guess I gotta do with these then. Because that guy has a terror aura. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get rid of him. At the very least, I'm going to knock him over. Wow, they do not like you. My turn, okay. Nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> Incarnate's kind of taking some actual damage up there, though. Yeah, he is. Yeah, and Mage. So, the Terrified literally 100% like, is, is more potent than anything else that removes it for some reason. That's Which makes fucking zero sense. It's because it's an aura from that one dude, so it's just constant. It doesn't matter. It shouldn't reapply every second of every like second of combat. It doesn't make any sense at all. Mm, maybe not. Nothing else in this game works like that. Like reapplying every turn I get, but reapplying every like heartbeat. Yeah, that's. Why isn't that working? Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's weird. 
Yeah, because notice how it keeps saying it to you guys block my magic armor? Yeah. yeah no, I, I, I see it. It's weird. <laughs> Your totem's terrified. Oh, fuck's sake. Where am I going? Well, at least you can kill one of these guys. Yeah. No, I'm really curious why why my uh, ability I've used like twice now to hasn't hurt anything. It's meant to hit them for like three to four hundred damage, and it's yet to hit anything. Wait, what ability is that? The um. Grasp of the Starved. Mm -hmm. It's not oh, hit anything I once. Think, I think it has to have blood. Like I, I think that it makes things jump out of like blood. Oh okay. Oh yes, it does. I don't know okay, if he can do any damage to the undead scarecrow, but he's knocked down again. So I can do approximately zero. Well, if you um, have a knockback, don't use it until he gets up. Yeah, I won't. Can I move here for just two AP? I can. Ooh, what was that? That was cool. React armor. I like that. That one enchanted scarecrow has like 18 health shadow if you want to take that out. I don't know what to hit him with. Oh, you don't have physical attack at all, do you? No. Damn. Um, you know what you could do? He is terrified, though. I feel like that thing shouldn't feel fear. And yeah, just skipped a turn entirely. That's a fantastic point. I feel like Undead should be immune to fear. Except for Silly. I'm the best right now. Alright, so I can't knock this guy down this round, but I can... Kill one of them. And... Might just be able to kill it. Nope. Not quite. Very, very, very close. I don't think I've seen a uh, cursed blood cloud before, but it's kind of alarming looking. It is. It's also, it's also weird that it does it does water damage instead of physical. Yeah. Because blood in general does physical, so that's extra weird. There you go, Stilly. You should be okay now. Yep, I'm ready. I'm ready also, to make my big entrance. <laughs> your big entrance to kill that one scarecrow, unless uh, Shadow's uh, Bone Widow gets to it first. It's gonna try. It's going for it. That's such a cool looking summon. Got it. <laughs> Somehow I got it. Oh. That, that's good. Unidentified gloves. Gold. He's got a pumpkin. Nice. Ah. The hell? Alright, so we got unidentified gloves. I'm sending these to um, Ayana. And uh, I got a supercharger skill book, summoning level two. Do you have supercharger? Oh, no, I don't actually. All right, here you go. Fantastic. Okay, uh, 64 physical armor, 14 magic armor, two initiative, 2% 2 crit chance. Uh, Miro, it's big. Uh, that's better than what I got, really. Yeah. I lose 14 or 42 HP, but whatever. Perfect. Do you want the gloves I have? They have two plus two uh, initiative plus forty two H HP. Um, what are the other stats? I just had them here. Yeah. There you go. All right. So silly. I apologize. This this today has not been great for Grandpa Jasper. I don't. You can suffer. Don't make me suffer. I've suffered enough. Man, the cut. This. How does anybody even live in this countryside? In this world, like. Every turn, something is fucking rude. True. Well, to be fair, it probably wouldn't be rude if Silly wasn't here. True. So apparently there's a mod you can- Hey, Jub! Kill it! That's fair, I'm not a frog. You turn milk green and a magister's red coat black. My mistress Alice might fancy you, though. She has a taste for the odd. If she ever makes it back. 
That's what happened to its mistress. The magisters with the red coats chased her into the woods. They'll be sorry. Oh, so let's go find our magis mistress. What sure. is this? Back. I don't like the idea of a frog with a mistress. It's a bit odd. <laughs> it is a frog, though. Frogs can have whatever they want. That is true. Is this a rat? No, it's a rabbit. Buck rabbit. Get back here, rabbit. I need to talk to you. Oh, you're not making this easy. Stop running away, rabbit. Okay. <laughs> He's really excited okay. to fuck. Yo, wait. Question. That's fucking hilarious. There's an item on the table in here that's Jen underscore cloth. I don't think they remembered to name it. It says, <laughs> yeah. it says the cloth has an immunity to poisoned, charm, terrified, knocked down, bleeding, crippled, blinded, slowing, and sleeping. Oh my god, that's amazing. Where is it? Oh, weird. Generic cloth. Most What's organic matter can be turned to purposes dark or light. Use with caution. Let's see it. What's funny is it looks like it's bone. I know. Here, we'll, we'll, we'll come back there in a minute. Now I'm taking everything from here. 4.30. Wait, where are we? Alright, I'm so, going with you. Well, this is the other side of the troll bridge. No, it's not. That's, way over. That's further up. Oh, look at that waterfall. You gotta appreciate the water physics. Like the, the the water leading into the waterfall doesn't look right, but it is still very pretty. I actually don't remember this troll at all. What the fuck? The troll oh, we got my bridge. This guy has not nearly as much health. No, this is a different one. Oh. This one this is, is way nicer looking. The bridge and the troll. I <gasps> It's just human skeletons here. There's a void touched boar there as well. Alright, so let's fight Marg the troll. He's probably gonna kill me, but uh Just talk to him. He looks friendly. He does not look friendly oh, at all. Hello there. A fine day it is. And the See, he's friendly. For a wee saunter through the trees it is too. Not even any void woken left to spoil it. Agree and ask him how this fine day is treating him. Oh. Just the best. Just the bee's knees, really. Alright, thanks, Angus. I've made more money today than in the last month combined. Thanks to a group of magisters who were in such a hurry they didn't have time to haggle. Hurry, magisters? Wonder what they're in such a hot pursuit of. sorcerer who fled by earlier. And she paid a handsome toll, too. Glory, what a marvelous day. Whoa, not so fast. I do try to be nice about it and all that. But this bridge is Marge's business. Since it is such a fine day, I can let you pass at a discount if you entertain me with tales of valiant void woken battle. Otherwise, full price. Smile and say you've lost count of the void woken you've slayed recently. Try to recall your most memorable void woken fight. Fold your arms and refuse to prove yourself. Four, shrug and pay the requested toll. Soldier, say that you could give him some tips instead. You're a bridge guarding expert. Tell him you could give him oh. some tips on extorting money from travel or other travelers instead. Shakedowns are your specialty. Tell him how you'll think the, about it. The full price is three gold? Yeah! Wide-eyed, Marge nods in appreciation at your tail. Now that is a story. For that, you can Pass for a pittance. Over you go. And be sure to appreciate the bewitching views as you cross my magnificent bridge. What? Are you having to fight, talk to him too? What? 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 Why are we fighting him? What did him? you just do? What happened? <sighs> oh, I didn't do anything. Really? I was in the. I didn't even finish Wind talking to him. Yeah. So he started fighting me without me even choosing an option. Well, that Someone helps. else did something. That was pretty rude of him. All right, well, Mark. Wait to deflect. Oh, he's immune to knockdown. Oh, that's not great. Yeah, I'm trying to examine your weaknesses. How do you do that? Right click. Oh, 
All right. Burning, knockdown. Oh, this one, you can't burn him. Interesting. They're probably watching our stream and we're like, all right, that's a definite weakness. Hey, look what he's standing in though, uh, Isa. Or uh, Shadow. Oh, uh, yeah, blood. Unfortunately, I can't use my thinker. I don't have enough source. That's lame. Wait, what happened to your source? He tried to I use it on the oh, uh, right. other dudes. Oh, that heals him. Oh, examine. weird. The enemy to determine what their weakness is. <laughs> See, I read the, I, I did do that, but I read the weakness wrong. I don't know if we have any poison abilities. Like, I have one. But it's got a huge. I do. TV. My sword has poison in it, so. Fight me, Marge. Oh my god. Oh, whoops, I... Oh, he's got... got double attack of opportunity? <laughs> that was gross. <gasps> yeah, he got double attack of opportunity. One from my, the Incarnate and one from me. <laughs> the fuck? Just, uh, don't forget to uh, pick up Silly when you can, Shadow. Just kill him, probably. We'll do that. This troll is so nice. He only wanted us to pay three gold. I didn't want to kill. I don't know why he attacked Silly. Three? I have no idea. You guys are terrible, terrible people. I should, I should just help him and kill you guys. Well. All right, Shadow. Finish him off. I was willing to let him live. He's dead. Oh well, we got 14,000 XP out of it. He's hey, he's gonna have like five gold on him. Uh, yeah, 168 gold actually. Nice. <laughs> it's like if he had five gold, one of those would have been mine. <laughs> anyway, he did drop a ring at least, uh, and I can give that to Iso to identify. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, but sorry, Marg. Uh, we were gonna let you live, but you had to go and get up, but he was silly. That's not what happened. What? He did get uppity with you. No. Yeah, he did a ground slam and smacked you down. So what is that ring? Oh, it was a huntsman something ring. Cool, Shadow wants that. He was like a huntsman, no. uh... Sure. Hydra. I'm not sure that's true, but... Oh, there's bears over there. Hey, let's go this way. But, but there's bears right there. I know. We'll go, let's go this way. But I can we'll look we'll back. I can talk oh, to you. Oh, I know, I'm bears. sorry. You can. But I promise you, bears are kind of mean. That's what they were telling me in WoW as well. Also, we, we can we can explore. We don't have a lot of time left. We should probably at least go do two things real quick. Three things real quick. I'm in it. Is that a demon? A skinless dog. I see a cage. And there's something in it. God, in the darkness of the woods, you spot a man overlooking a cage that holds creatures crept from a nightmare. Despite the all too unsettling near who is that, topic, silly? He looks poised, I don't know. regal even, and wholly at ease. Oh my God, do you even play this game? Step in Mordcon? The I've never made it to this point in the game. You Let's know that. Have right? a look at the wanderer. Okay, there's three people. How about you look at all three people? I don't see three. I see two people and a dog. Step in from the shadows, point to the cage, and say you question okay. his choice of pets. Scott, me for even talking to you. You're not lost at all, quite on what? the contrary. Oh, there what did I do? I don't recognize. Oh, Jahan. If you've the wits to outsmart them, he eyes you with a sudden intensity, makes you feel like a weight upon a scale, balanced against an unknown measure. But you're not, are you? You're not a meek little lamb at all. He sighs, contentedly it seems, darts his eyes to the demons, then back to you. The roads oh no, I need more thievery. Today, aren't they, May I offer you anything to drink? 
Smile and say, you're that sounds wonderful. Shake your head. You're not thirsty. Ignore his invitation. Ask how he knows that you're god -woken. No. Not for wine. Nor for water. But for source. He pours Come pick this chest, silly. Hang on. I'm trying to steal stuff from this guy. To your very good He's good, good shit. Now then. It's a necklace that gives plus two finesse. I am Jehan. That's 113 Mandacrum. No. I'm taking it, I think. Actually, he's got even more shit. I should just take his weapons so he can't fight us. Fight us. A master of the source. Tell him you're searching for sages like himself. Tell him it's a pleasure meeting, but you really ought to leave. Of course you are. That is what God will can do. The answer to your next question, by the by, is Okay, yes. hang on, I'm coming. I will teach you if you do something for Wait, me what? How do I get in there without it being... It says red. Did you go around the back? Or you just walk in? But needs must when the demon drives. It will come as no surprise, I suppose, that it is a demon that drives me to seek your benevolence. Okay. So we got this lock thing. I've been hunting him for a long time. But now I've managed to track him down to the island over yonder. He points towards the northeast. You see nothing in that direction but grey water and a thick mist in which ghoulish shapes seem to form and fade. I know it's there. My caged guests have confirmed as much. Careful, you have the stolen stuff now. Oh, you just like stop talking to me. I have an offer. Oh. If you'll hear it, there's a great there's the rub. Quid the pro quo will come as no he points towards the northy. I know it's there. My caged guests have confirmed as much, but to my great frustration, I cannot reach my goal. Death fog surrounds the island, and through death fog, even I cannot pass. Oh, death fog, you say. Say you don't want to sound pessimistic, but you're hardly immune to death fog yourself. Of course. You are but a mortal for now. But you are god woken as well. Surely you have a few tricks up your sleeve. Consider it a test. Kill the demon, and I will be your teacher. Then let me shake your hand and describe your target. The demon's guise or vessel, one can't be quite certain, is that of a lizard known only as the Advocate. Like all of his ilk, he is kind, he is charming. He will offer you what you desire most at seemingly no cost at all. There is no such thing as no cost at all. My advice is to strike before he even has a chance to speak. But should you choose to disregard me, should you allow him to parley, all you have to do is say no. Above all, no. remember no. Ask if you can give any insight as to far as far, far as reaching the island is concerned. Say you're interested in learning more about the nature of the island. A place of irony, if you will. Once the site of an academy dedicated to the art of demon hunting, now the remnant of a dream sliced open into nightmare. Rumor has it an exorcism went wrong there long ago. But for a short time, a great demon stood unopposed. Had it not been for Dr. Deva, the entirety of Reaper's coast could have looked like Blood Moon Island looks today. He contained the demon and its blood spawn to the doomed shores <laughs> of the isle, surrounded it with death fog, and never looked back. Ask him on to tell you more I about Dr. Deva. During a soiree in Arcs. Quite the eccentric is Dr. Deva. But then again, he looks you up and down. Aren't we all? Ask can give you the insight. Death fog obscures any approach and hangs thick over the collapsed bridge that led to the isle from the driftwood road. 
There is more than the mist alone. Magic that evades my eyes. Yeah, we defeated Piamat. Also spotted a sloop further down the shoreline. I mean, how hard could that be? But of course, a quiet afternoon's boating trip will be quite ruined once one hits death fog shrouded waters. You say that, silly, but when I set up her stats, I made sure that she had, like, the lowest possible defense I could give her. That's terrible. Like She's really high dodge, though. Asking about the birds and the bees. I know because I've known others like you. Those whose fates are chained for better or for worse to that of the gods themselves. I have battled the foe of foes and conquered it for a while. I have sat in perfumed gardens with the sorceress oh, okay. and drank life from her very lips. I have seen well over 2,000 springs and will continue to do so until time itself closes its weary eyes. Oh shit, I could believe it too. He's got a lot of, uh, stats. Trust me. I know what you are. And what you can be. Tell you, it's me on your way. Okay, give me a sec here, guys.